got me looking at it thinking like, I think we've done just about everything in that video, except for one, one thing, which I wonder when that's going to go down. Good luck out. Uh. Okay. For twenty three. Hmm. Out of curiosity, we still can't kill this thing, can we? There's got to be like a trick to it that we just don't know. I feel like this guy's a troll. <laughs> I feel like this guy's in this game just to troll us, cause like he reflects all damage, all elements and non-elemental attacks. I almost feel like we're not designed to kill him. <laughs> Add a check, just to be sure. with the yaks. <laughs> uh, dial? <laughs> Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class 4 administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound. Although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Mm -hmm. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever going to find a hideout that comes with hot springs? That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Wait, for well, real? surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts. Now get going already. Benwick and the crew are making preparations in Helleviz right now. Huh. We really just took over this whole town. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, did we not go in there? Back 
Wait a minute. Oh, that was sealed off before. I don't think we could go in there before. But now we can. Right? I think. Wait, how do I get there? Right, this is where, uh, Rogan was, uh, making his thing. Borogana. This is where he was making his sword. We weren't allowed in here before. Now we go to the Imperium Throne. Well, first things first. We'll do this. Bushy eyebrows. Okay. And now, let's head off to LB. Find any of these things? Maybe we should probably just rush her out of here. 67. Well, that's still a good experience. We are level six. Nah. Alright, our levels aren't too bad. I feel like we're about the right level for the next area that we're trying to go to. Ugh, we shall see. Oh, Not my time. No mercy! You thought I'd stop there? Annihilating? Did you think damn. you could escape me? <laughs> God dang. Okay. Pretty sure she just wiped the hold them with that attack. Uh that out of the way already. Hmm. 
します。Just to be sure. Okay. Now we should be high enough level to just run them over. <laughs> Tavern. The tavern's got a bubble. You there, exorcist! Do you know what happened to the Praetor? Lady Teresa? She used to be in charge here. Um... Lady Teresa is the only oh, one who can guy. restore law and order in our town. <sighs> Please, send a message to the Abbey. Tell them that the citizens of Helavis are awaiting her return. Even if the Lord of Calamity herself were to attack, uh, I won't budge until Lady Teresa returns to us. What will refusing to move accomplish? If my life is in danger, I know Lady Teresa will come to save me. Her, and that ice-cold glare of hers. Teresa won't be coming back. What? If you really love Teresa, you shouldn't rely on her to protect you. You should become strong enough to protect her. Whoa, that burning glare of yours. I think I like it. Oh, Wait, God. what? <laughs> this guy's sick in the head. <laughs> I heard that the Lord of Calamity appeared in Mercio. Now the whole town's been captured by demons. What is the Abbey doing? Why don't exorcists come around here anymore? The Abbey has abandoned us. If the Calamity shows up here, we're doomed. We either run or give up and drown ourselves in drink. If only Lady Teresa were still here. Why has it come to this? Curse you, Lord of Calamity, for everything you've done! You're quite the popular girl. Why not wave to your fans? Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know how to kill that thing. I tried again, but nothing. No luck. I forgot to look that up. There's gotta be a trick to that. We're planning evacuation routes. We need to be ready if the Calamity or Demon show up in town. When the Calamity attacked the first time, there was massive confusion. Some children got hurt in all the madness. We're preparing evacuation boats, so that we can all flee out to the sea if anything happens. It's a good idea, but it will be hard to evacuate the entire town by boat. You'd best prepare a land route, too. That's a good point. But wouldn't a land route run the risk of being attacked by demons? Yes. You'll need to guard it as heavily as you do the city gates. It would be best if you could devise a way to prevent demons from intercepting the escape route, but... Hmm. Some of the exorcists lost use of their malachim. We can't count on the Abbey's garrison to help us. I'll send a request for aid to the Abbey. But please, don't give up. Try to think of something. Of course. There's no way we'll give up. You can't rely on someone else to protect you. Can you really ask the Abbey for help? I can send a sylph jade to some of my old friends from when I was still in training. Even if they refuse to trust a traitor like me, they won't ignore the plight of the people here in Helavis. Or will they? <laughs> if they haven't already been consumed by their Malachim. Oh god, who gave them all radios? Huh? Who has radios? Where'd you see a radio? Somebody had a radio? <laughs> hey! How long are you going to sit there crying? You can't be a fisherman if you're afraid of some lord of calamity! The demons that wrecked this town are still alive. Who knows when they'll show up again? How about right now? Sneevel, idiot! 
Keep whining like that, and this calamity whatever will keep walking all over you. But what can we do? We can't even defeat a single demon. That's why we take our folks, catch some fish, and make sure we've got enough food to keep on surviving. Did they drill anything into that fool head of yours in school? Ugh. Do I have to knock some sense into you? Get up and get the boat ready. Well, there's one hot-headed dad. Too hot for any demons to get near. That's for sure. Wait, you said they sound like they're coming through a radio? Oh god, I, I think I know what it is. I came home and freaking my PC ended up doing a Windows update without me knowing. Alright, let me check something out. Okay. Let's see if uh, that fixed it. Last time that worked. Uh. Oh, -ho! miss me that much, did you? How did that sound? You want me in? Fuck. Oh, -ho! miss me that much, did you? They still sound like they're coming through a radio. It's fixed. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Every time I Windows updates, I have to unplug my car a capture card and plug it back in. Thanks for letting me know, Karen. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Like I came home, turned everything on, turned all my apps on. For some reason it does that. I don't know why. Uh Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Inominat and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple. An apple? That I can't it's taste. a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. Wait. A fortune apple. It's not an edible apple. Hmm. But we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Inominat. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way! That's a good luck charm! That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's mm -hmm. throne. She just confused Sail me. Sail for Port Zexon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Aye, aye, sir. Sound like military wear and radio communication. Just don't need him. Got it? I won't. Don't worry. The apple from the start of the game. Oh. Do you think? No. Alright, no, I'm thinking of something that doesn't make sense. Hey, Rokoro! I heard about a Class 4 island that sounds damn near perfect for you. An island that's perfect for me? Do the rivers flow with good drink? Now that you mention it. But no! Different island. I'm talking about you as a swordsman. The demons there all run around the island in suits of armor and helmets and stuff. I hear. Armored demons are not unusual. Yeah, but what I heard tell was that all the exorcists who got sent there came back with their swords broken. I don't know if they've got swords too, or if their armor is just that strong. 
but I reckon your sword will be able to stand up to him. Well then, I've heard worse ideas. If you believe the tales, that island used to be a place where swordsmen and knights competed to see who was stronger. Oh yeah, I know the island you're talking about. Craftsmen from all over gave their finest weapons and armor to the greatest of warriors and made them fight. It was as much a showcase for those wares as it was a contest of strength. So the demons on that island might come at us wielding fine arms and armor. I'm certainly up for checking it out. I'm curious to see how good the stuff really is. Hmm. After all I've told okay. you, you still want to go? What is wrong with you? Also, they said that we are the bad guys. No, 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 no. We need to clarify something. Rokuro is a bad guy. <laughs> Everyone else is good. Do you think that with the Nominat's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Inominat probably doesn't concern them. You are right. It might be wise yeah. to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. But, but I, I want to, I've been, this whole game I've been wanting to meet the Imperiums. <laughs> but we're really not going to go find them? I, I've been wanting to do that this whole game. <laughs> Okay, so we got two class four. So let's go to the fiend one first. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I think there's like five other chests that we still haven't gotten. There's no way I'm gonna do all of them. That's okay though. We got a good amount of them. We're not trying to 100% the game. We're just trying to have a good time. That we have done. I'll show you the beauty of my spear work. You won't get a word. Guys are pretty weak. I really it's level 18. What the hell? Why are the levels so bad? I thought this was supposed to be a challenge. Get away. Resurrection! Take that! 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 Take
God damn it! Definitely nothing more annoying than goddamn fairies. This area. That's a so much of Show them All right, let's go to the next class four area, and we'll do uh, that area. A little challenge shouldn't be a problem. And then from there, I think we go to Port Zexid. <sighs> Something like that. They ask a lot of souls, man. <laughs> to get all that stuff is a lot of souls. Yeah. 
You're strong, but I'm stronger. The power! You're a new. are easier than actually grouping up mobs. Gotta be dead. Next. Holy cow, that was a lot of damage. Go! No. 
We got two of those. Interesting, that wasn't our first. Oh my god. I'm like dying here. Um one second guys. Let me grab something to like wake me up a little. I'm like dying here because I came back from that first birthday and all the cake and stuff is like making me crash. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Nothing like a little coffee to wake you up. Yeah, it was kind of an interesting first birthday party. <laughs> an old friend of mine went to high school with them and stuff. Helped them with their purchase of their houses and all that stuff. And uh, it was kind of interesting. The food that they had there was like for kids. It was like chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, meatballs. Uh, it was all like kids' food. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> if I was like 20, 15 years younger, man, I'd be fucking in heaven right now. <laughs> uh. I guess we're going here. Oh, another moment. So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Pick it up, on. Where's Luffy set? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. 
Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No. Theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. <laughs> I like the way she felt as she said that. Yeah, good thing I kicked your butt. <laughs> well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the shepherd. Oh, snap. Inominat's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. <sighs> Are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No, you aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Brokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. Hmm. It's interesting how they still, like, Joke about that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> all right. We put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malakim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malakim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. So please, calm down. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah, you there. Mean looking guy. Get over here. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey, muscles, get back here. I'm not through with you. Please stop. I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Please. Let us all stand together. 
Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. Hmm. Did they just try to pick a fight with Aizen for no reason? <laughs> really? Okay. Hey, it's you! Uh, Moggy Lou's debauchery! It's menagerie. Debauchery. Oh, oh that's I horrible. I get a chance to see the famous <laughs> Moggy Lou's menagerie. I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again. I can't believe they said debauchery. Why? Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own menagerie. The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and, well, everyone's so gloomy. So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. What do you call yourselves? I wanted something with power. Impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. Mm. Okay. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. You're trying to cheer people up, right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the Dark Wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> oh, I got it. We'll be. The Dark Smiles! Hmm. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The Dark Magic! No, the Dark Circus! No, no, that's no good. The Darkest Hour! Yeah, I really like the dark. dark. Maybe you could try losing the dark part. Hmm, good point. All right, then. How about this one? The Peddlers of Joy! We don't accept solicitations. Fine, fine, forget you. I've made my decision. We're Dark Wing Menagerie of Comedy, and that's final. He really went all out. Still, you got zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magic Kazam! Thanks, that makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck. About that Magic Kazam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy. Am I right? But here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is it? Magic Kazam! Hmm, her mouth actually moves. Interesting. <laughs> that, that's some attention to detail, I gotta say. <laughs> it's funny, she, they were like, Maggie lose debauchery. Do you know what debauchery means? It means overindulgence to sensual pleasure. <laughs> Usually when people reference debauchery, they meant they reference a whorehouse. <laughs> Just say <saying. laughs> It's kind of insulting that he actually said that. <laughs> oh, all the side quests came in. Oh, look at this. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to do. We just got hit with a whole bunch of side quests. I can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore. But thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings. And I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff. But tea... Kids, adults, the elderly, everyone can enjoy it. That's a good positive point of view. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea from all over the world. Rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking hmm. over the demons, we'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing it's tea. It's interesting It'd be that wonderful a if you sold some tasty drunken pies sailor cookies is there saying too. all this. I know, right? <laughs> I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. Maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Speaking of which, are you single? Sorry, I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> figured as much. I find it funny that everybody hits on Eleanor. Everybody. <laughs> you noticed that, right? 
Everyone hits on Se Hel Eleanor. Everyone. <laughs> I guess she's like the waifu of this this game, but like I'm all team velvet. Sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm a team velvet type of guy. <laughs> hmm, this is all stuff we already have, correct? Yep. It's because Eleanor is goody goody. I guess. I guess that makes sense because Magula looks like she's crazy. Even dresses like she's crazy. Velvet probably looks scary as hell because <laughs> she's always scowling. So. I guess. Melon gel? Oh! That's super expensive though. But I guess this doesn't matter if uh... Oh, increases their max HP by 30%. Interesting. I was not understanding what I was looking at. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's nothing new here, but let's just double check. Carrier ring. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. Nothing new. Um, I could do a little bit of a cleanup though. Let's do. some of these things um okay quartz is still the best interesting God, it is. Uh, we are back switching the moment. Okay. Oh, uh, this might take a little bit of a while too. So, <laughs> no rush. Peace. 
Holy cow, we have a lot of bracelets. Nope, I wasn't that. Jeez, we got so much. <laughs> okay. for this. Hmm. It only makes sense, right? Magula, switch you over. You're still in it, Karen. <laughs> You're still in it. You don't have to re-enter, don't worry. Oh, that's just that? Yeah, I haven't I haven't claimed the winner yet. I haven't claimed one yet. Yeah, I did that because sometimes people come in here and they ask me how to enter. And I felt too lazy to actually say it over and over and over again. This is going to get interesting. Oh, we keep that because we still need Rokuro to come up here. Okay. 